2020, y'all. Yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, At this point, it's getting harder and harder for Diddy to stay quiet with everything that's been happening around him. Some of his closest associates, like Gene Deal, are even hinting that Diddy might be ready to give up everything he owns just to secure his freedom. From the lifestyle that he had, I'm not saying that he can't. I just don't see him able to do time. But the big question that's hanging in the air is, at what cost would he do that? Now, if there's one thing we know for sure about Diddy, it's that he's not the kind of person who's going to go down easily. He's always going to look for a way out, especially if he thinks there's one within his grasp. The word on the street is that his best option for him right now might be to start naming names to the feds. They're gonna throw the book at this guy, I believe, to make him a deal. And I believe the deal they're gonna make him is, now you need to spill the beans. You need to talk and we'll give you 15 with probation or whatever. And this is where things start to get interesting. Celebrities like Usher and Megan Fox seem to be feeling the pressure, as there are reports that they deleted all their tweets on X after Diddy's indictment hit the news. This gets even juicier. The buzz going around is that Diddy may have already taken the deal, and the name everyone's talking about? None other than his close friend and fellow industry giant, Jay-Z. It's no secret that Diddy and the Carter family have a tight-knit personal bond. In fact, Jay-Z and Diddy are known to be two of the biggest movers and shakers in the entertainment world, with a relationship that has deep roots. Over the years, there have been plenty of rumors swirling about the two of them being involved in some pretty shady dealings together. Jay, I just let it go, because I couldn't believe he did a project with her, with um, R. Kelly knowing that he my girl. From allegedly working as informants for the feds. So it seemed like the police were on Diddy's side. Is that the idea there, that he kind of had him doing his bidding? Well, it was more than they were on his side. They, they were actually doing his dirty work. To running multiple business ventures, to attending exclusive secretive parties, it's safe to say there's a lot that has been fueling the gossip. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. You know, the game has been elevated. And now, Beyonce's name is even being thrown into the mix, with speculation that she's been involved in some of these private gatherings as well. With all this drama swirling around, the latest rumors suggest that Diddy may have spilled some major secrets, and it's looking like Jay-Z might be feeling the pressure more than ever. So, let's dig right in. Well, it's definitely raised some eyebrows that Jay-Z has been completely radio silent when it comes to Diddy ever since the arrest. Given how close they've been over the years, people can't help but wonder if this sudden silence might be a sign of something bigger going on behind the scenes. Despite their long-standing bond, everyone is starting to speculate that this could be exactly why Diddy might end up giving Jay-Z's name to the feds. After all, it's no secret that the two of them have been thick as thieves for decades, so it wouldn't be surprising if Diddy's got some dirt on Jay. The phrase, birds of a feather flock together, seems to fit perfectly here. They've both been involved in some shady dealings, according to all the rumors swirling around. And now that Diddy's in hot water, people are thinking he might not go down alone. It's starting to look like Diddy could be willing to give up anyone, even someone as close to him as Jay-Z, if it means saving himself. It's no secret that Diddy and Jay-Z have been in this game together for decades, and their connection runs deep. In fact, Diddy let some things slip during an interview not too long ago. He mentioned that only two people can call him by his real name, Sean, his mom, and, you guessed it, Jay-Z. He even made it clear during a carpool karaoke with James Corden, where, when asked how to address him, he confirmed that only his mom and Jay-Z get that privilege. Apparently, being on a first-name basis with Diddy is a VIP club, and Jay is one of the few who made the cut. So, if you've been keeping an eye on Jay-Z over the years, then you probably already know that his image as a devoted family man hasn't always lined up with his actions. Just like Diddy, he's had people raising eyebrows for a while now, and for good reason. One of the most infamous moments from Jay-Z's past revolves around his relationship with Foxy Brown who was only 15 when he was 27, which became a huge scandal. It definitely left a mark on the clean image he's tried to maintain over the years. 
but that's only part of the story. Jay-Z's inner circle has included some pretty questionable figures, like Russell Simmons and R. Kelly, both of whom have faced serious accusations related to their relationships with much younger girls. So, when that first lawsuit hit Diddy from his ex Cassie, it was like the whole world collectively gasped. Fans, and even people who weren't really following his career closely, were hoping it was just some wild rumor that would blow over. But then, out of nowhere, boom, three more lawsuits followed, each one piling on more drama and making the situation even more chaotic. But what really cranked things up, though, was when insiders from the industry started spilling all kinds of tea. You know how it goes. Once people who've worked with someone for years start talking, the whole narrative takes a turn, and things start snowballing. It's like, when folks from behind the scenes step forward, it's game over because they have receipts, and suddenly everyone's listening. Cassie wasn't standing alone in all this, either. She had a whole wave of support, with fans and even some celebrities publicly backing her up. But here's where things take a twist. Diddy's apparently firing back, claiming that certain rappers are behind the scenes, dishing out cash to keep these stories alive. And guess whose name has come up in all of this? Yep, Jay-Z. It's wild, but also kind of not surprising, especially since there have been whispers for years that Jay-Z might not be as squeaky clean as he likes to appear. People have always speculated that he's been using Beyonce's spotless reputation as a cover to keep his own image polished. So, when you look at Jay-Z's history and his close ties to Diddy, it's really no surprise that people are starting to connect the dots and wonder what else could be lurking beneath the surface. With everything coming to light, it feels like this might just be the tip of the iceberg, and who knows what other secrets might eventually come out. Jay-Z really found himself in hot water when it came out that he allegedly pushed Foxy Brown into a relationship when she was just 15, dangling the promise of a Hollywood career in front of her. And the craziest part? His longtime friend and former business partner, Dame Dash, got super defensive when people started asking about the situation between Jay and Foxy. I mean, it's wild, right? And doesn't it all sound eerily similar to what Diddy did with Cassie? Diddy started dating her when she was just 19, promising to help her rise in Hollywood, only to drag her through a whirlwind of drama and emotional chaos. Jake, I just let it go, because I couldn't believe he did a project with her, with um, R. Kelly knowing that he had my girl. But wait, that's not all Dame had to say. He wasn't done spilling the tea. Dame went on to talk about Jay-Z's troubling pattern when it came to younger girls, which really pushed him to distance himself from Jay. According to Dame, the final straw was when he realized Jay had no intention of cutting ties with R. Kelly, even after R. Kelly's behavior was fully exposed. For those who might not know, R. Kelly got caught lying about Aaliyah's age and even married her when she was a You'd think Jay-Z would have backed away from someone with that kind of reputation, right? Well. Nope. Instead, he doubled down and actually teamed up with R. Kelly to release their joint album, The Best of Both Worlds, a move that left a lot of people scratching their heads. It really raises the question of why Jay-Z would choose to stand by someone like R. Kelly, even when all these dark truths were coming to light. It definitely makes you wonder what else was happening behind the scenes. And here's where things get even more interesting. According to Dame Dash, Jay-Z was actually trying to get involved with Aaliyah. He was sending her flowers, inviting her to his parties, basically doing everything he could to win her over. But here's the twist. Aaliyah wasn't into Jay at all. She had her heart set on Dame, and she was fully committed to being with him. Fast forward to Aaliyah's tragic death in that plane crash, and the rumor mill started spinning like crazy, with some people suggesting that her passing was part of a bigger, darker plan orchestrated by powerful people in the industry. Yeah, Beyonce's on she been on for a long time, and you keep her that way. There's even talk that Aaliyah didn't want to be on that plane at all. The rumor goes that she was given a sedative against her will, knocked out, and then put on the plane without her consent, all in the rush to finish filming a music video. It's one of those stories that just makes the whole situation seem even more disturbing. And if that wasn't enough, Jay-Z's name came up again, this time from Beyonce's former bodyguard, Uncle Ron. He dropped some major claims, alleging that Jay-Z got Beyonce hooked on something as a way to control her. And you're, how long, how long, however long she's been recording, that's, that's when I met her. Uh, well, don't you remember how long it was? Yeah, when I met her. I mean, was it five years ago? Was it? I met her 10 years ago. <laughs> it's almost like we're seeing a pattern here, right? It's kind of deja vu when you think about what Diddy supposedly did to Cassie. She accused him of getting her hooked on alcohol, leading to some serious addictions that completely consumed her life for a while. 
Now, here's where it gets even crazier. Beyonce was reportedly underage when she first met Jay-Z, and he was already pushing 30 at the time. Yeah, you read that right. In a 2007 interview with Charlie Rose, Jay-Z himself admitted they met before Beyonce turned 18. While he claims they crossed paths when she was 16, he says he waited until she was 18 before making his move. But still, the whole thing feels off when you consider the timeline and everything else that's come out since. Now, let's not forget, Beyoncé didn't really have much of a typical social life growing up. From a young age, she was fully immersed in her career, and her parents were incredibly strict. She had just one boyfriend in high school, so it's safe to say she didn't have a whole lot of experience with relationships before Jay-Z came into the picture. A lot of people believe that this power imbalance between them might be the reason she couldn't bring herself to divorce him after that whole cheating scandal. Jay-Z is basically the only man she's ever really been with since her teenage years, which could explain why she chose to stick around despite everything. Now, as you can see, Jay-Z and Diddy have been running in the same circles for decades. They've been playing the game together, and rumors have been swirling for years that they've both been involved in some pretty questionable stuff, especially when it comes to exploiting young women. But with Cassie's recent lawsuit, it seems like all those skeletons are finally coming out of the closet. And hold on, it's not just Cassie's claims that have people talking. I think it's getting a little too late for those who are complicit. For the victims who have been too afraid to come forward because the diddler has been running around. Oh, Diddy, you should talk. Do you feel... In that. They already have. Oh. They talked to him before he made that Super Bowl announcement. There's someone who's never been shy about calling out both Diddy and Jay-Z and that's Jaguar Wright. She's been watching their moves for years, long before all this hit the mainstream. Clearly, Jay-Z's money didn't make its way into her pockets because she's been blowing the whistle on their behavior for a while now. Jaguar Wright has even gone so far as to suggest that Jay-Z and Diddy might have sacrificed people along the way to further their own careers. There's a lot of speculation about their possible involvement in the deaths of several rappers, and while it all sounds a bit eerie, it's got people talking. Well, aside from Jay-Z and Beyonce, Pretty much everyone knows who's in Diddy's inner circle. Big names like Rick Ross, Usher, and Justin Bieber. But with everything going on, it seems like those closest to Diddy might be feeling the heat, especially as the investigation digs deeper. These names might become pretty valuable as the feds try to piece together the whole story. Reports have it that Usher recently deleted his tweets on X, and this has left everyone's jaws dropped. Now, for Jay-Z, it's looking like things could get even more intense for him. His name keeps popping up all over the place, and there have been rumors for years that he and Diddy have been involved in some pretty shady dealings together. So, a former prosecutor, Nima Romani, has come out to speak to the U.S. Sun about how his famous friends could be affected by any upcoming trial. In Nima's words, he said, Jay-Z and other celebrities can be subpoenaed but they will almost certainly assert their Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and refuse to testify." He then continued, "...people who participated in the S Acts should especially be afraid, because they can also be charged with STFing or peacetitution, depending on whether they used threats or force against the victims. If Jay-Z is just a witness who didn't participate in the S Acts, he may be subpoenaed to testify at trial. Again, it's no secret that Diddy and Jay-Z have been in this game together for decades, but for how long would this stand the test of time? Drop us a comment below.